Hi guys and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to try the old products from, almost old products from my favorites must-haves or favorites must-haves video from Amrezi. I watched her video, she uploaded that video for like a month ago. I'm going to put the link down below if you haven't watched that video. But I watched her video and I was very inspired to try this product. Now I think I have almost all of them. I don't have the skincare because she said she has very dry skin though I have very combo oily skin so I don't really feel like I needed those kind of products so I did try the um, cleansing water and that was that one is amazing but all of the makeup she talked about uh, I think I have except one of the lip glosses but everything else I think I have here today so I'm going to try them for the first time and if you're interested to see that then please keep on watching Okay, so I do follow Amrezi on uh, Instagram and of course on YouTube because, uh, let's be honest, she's beautiful. She looks stunning. Her makeup looks always flawless and I think she knows what she talks about. I've tried her eyeshadow palettes she, uh, that she released with Anastasia Beverly Hills and all of them and they are amazing. I also have her highlighter that I really like and that one is one of my favorites there is nothing like this so if you haven't tried that you need to but I'm going to try the product she talked about on my channel today so the first thing we are going to use is Amrezi palette and I think I reviewed this on my channel I don't know I have problem with one of the shades this shade that that kind of pops out and I need to press it again with my fingers and then it gets a little bit messy so and uh, that's the only downside with this, with my palette, is that shade was very soft pressed. When I opened it, I think you can see that on the video, if you find it on my channel, that it was very loose. But I've used this palette a lot of times and I really, really, really love uh, this palette. And I also really love Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyeshadows. So today we are going to create a very fast, nice makeup look, nothing too hard. Uh, I really need to want to try many of the other products she talked about that. I don't know if you watched her video, she just started her YouTube channel or she started her YouTube channel a long time ago but she didn't upload many videos and uh, I think that was her second. I'm going to peel off this one. I forgot to peel this one off and I can see myself. So I'm going to use Kaya Cosmetics blending brush and I'm going to go in New, War New Yorker shade or New Yorker um, that one is very nice crease shade and I'm going to go very high with that shade above my crease because I have hooded eyes and I want to make my eyes look bigger I really love the packaging I like that you get more shades here in this than usual her makeup always always look flawless I'm always interested to know what she uses. On my face, I do though have the Bobbi Brown primer and I do have Catrice foundation and I do have a mix of Huda Beauty and uh, L'Oreal concealer. I forgot the words. This shade looks so, so nice. So I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go in with Sigma E25 and I want to go in with OG color, put it in the crease. Right in the crease and just blend it upwards. To deep up my crease. But I'm blending it upwards to make my eyes look more open and bigger. There were so many uh, products in that video that I always wanted to try but never bought. For a reason or two, there were, they were not uh, available here in Sweden. Sorry, my phone. Uh, they were not available here in Sweden or they were a little bit too expensive for me to purchase. But this time I just felt f for all of the products in that video and I was like, yep, I need to have them. I need to try them. And see, I love this palette. I know I love this palette. 
if you haven't tried it you need to amaze this palette is amazing and all of the shades blend beautifully i'm going to go then in 1988 my favorite shade in here is actually shamsa that stunning shade i use it many many times and i'm going to use it today too i just want to pop this one at the edge And I'm going, go, going to take the same brush, just going to switch the side and go into Shemsa. And try to blend it here. All of these shade go, shades go very nice together. Then I'm going to take my favorite brush for the shimmer shades and that's a linda halberry 305 and i'm going to go in in uh, with cupcake this shade here and place that next to shamsa my phone is on and blend it a little bit on top of shamsa look how stunning this is this is a dry brush guys and you can even make it more metallic using your finger or setting it with some setting spray or wet the brush and then i'm going to go same with the same brush into bar that's a stunning shade i own almost all of the anastasia collapse or anastasia palettes like this except the one that's very col colorful but I'm going to get that one either. I just didn't bought it before because I don't usually use those shades. And this is so me. Look how beautiful that is. That's beautiful. We are going to go into lower lash line. And I'm going to use a smaller blending brush and go into Shemsa again. And blend that all the way. There is a little bit of fallout, but nothing that bothers me. And I understand why she says, why Amrezi says that this is her favorite palette, everyday palette, because you can create any makeup look with this. I do love, my phone is going crazy. I do love Leo shade. Uh, that one I've used too a lot. And then I'm going to take the same brush and go into New Yorker that we had and just blend the edges. And then go into a smaller brush, more, more pointier. And I'm going to, this is Jack, Jacqueline Hill and Morphe JH43, more like an eyebrow, but I like using that for creating like a liner. I'm going to go in 1988 and connect. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go into BK. Yugo is also a very beautiful shade. And I'm going to create like a liner. This is such a beautiful black shade. Okay, I thought first that I'm going to use uh, eyelashes, but I'm not going to do so because in her, that video, she talked about her favorite mascara, and that is Tarte, Tarte Slash Paint Mascara. I get very oily during the day, especially my eyelids, and I hate when mascara smudges or flakes. In this mascara, she said that it's the, almost the only one that doesn't smudge on her or flakes. So I'm going to try that mascara. I haven't tried it before, so I went to Sephora to buy it. Actually, I bought almost all of the products after watching that video except her highlighter and her eyeshadow palette because that I already had as soon as it launched. Curl lashes before we apply mascara. I look so flat without bronzer but we are going to go into bronzer soon. Promise. 
love trying new mascaras. I'm very excited about all of these products. Oh, this is so satisfying. Nice brush. Let's try it. I'm kind of scared of these kind of brushes because I always poke myself, especially on this eye, and then I, I ruin my makeup. But let's see if I can not do that today. That looks nice. They look nice. Okay, that looks nice. I'm going to do the same thing on the other item. I'm kind of nervous. Always poke, poke, poke myself. So this is one coat and I'm, of course I'm going to build it up again and I try not to mess up my makeup look. I think this looks stunning. This is the mascara. I do like how it looks. So I'm not going to apply any lashes because I just want to see how this is going to look at the end. Maybe we apply another coat of this mascara, but so far I do like the results. So I look flat, so I do need a bronzer. For bronzer, I did go and buy and purchase the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream from Chanel. Everybody's talking about this product. She talks about this product, I'm crazy. And of course, <laughs> after that video, I was like, okay, that's it, I'm crazy. I try still, I'm going to go buy. So I did both myself this and I haven't even opened it. So Ooh, I'm excited. This is expensive product, but it looks very nice. Oh, mm, it smells so good too. I'm kind of nervous, so let's put... I didn't set my makeup except my conceal just a little bit with some powder, earlier but everything else isn't set so i'm going to use a smaller blending not blending brush, but smaller foundation brush this this is Bedalium tools 953 i know it's a nice brush and uh, i don't know how to use this product so i'm going to go in with this and go on my face and then we're going to use a beauty blender Maybe we can use Beauty Blender immediately. I don't know. Oh, this is a nice shade. Everybody likes this product, so I need to see what's the hype. The shade looks nice. And it smells good. It's more thick consistency uh, than I thought. I thought it would be a little bit more creamy. It's creamy though, don't get me wrong. It's creamy when you put your finger in it, but I just thought it would be like a mousse. Uh, it's nothing bad. I'm not saying this product, but it smells so good. I do like the smell and I like that. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender, well, not beauty blender, beauty sponge. And Blend this product. I really like how this is blending. It gives me that natural bronzy look. Could this be my favorite product? I do like Huda Beauty's uh, Cream uh, Tantor too use that all the time but that's more like um how to say a contouring shade for me or contouring product oh my god this bronzer looks so nice i'm not going to use any other product uh, like bronzers i'm going to set this with powder later but i think this looks stunning i do want to build it up just a little bit more because you know me guys I do love bronzer, but also going a little bit too much with the bronzers. But you know what? Who cares? It's my face. It's makeup. Easy to take off. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Oh my God, I love this. I'm crazy. 
everything I used so far. Love, love it. I'm always going to trust your opinion, girl. I know you're not going to watch this video, but I'm talking with you guys, you know. You know me. I like talking to myself or to you guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. I try to give my honest opinion. Try makeup like a um, normal person without any makeup education or anything. I just love makeup. I collect makeup. I'm obsessed with makeup. And I just love trying new products. This looks awesome. I love this bronzer really, really a lot. This looks good. This looks good. I think we are not going to blend it anymore, but for the blush, I'm going to go in before we try setting powder. Maybe we can set powder. Let's let's set the face first. As a setting powder, I'm going to use Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Timberley. And I already talked about this one. She likes to bake and then go on top with this product. I also do the same, but I like to go on top with the Hourglass Veal powder after baking. I bought the shade Fair one. Um, I don't know why. Oh, I love the packaging. I bought that because I thought the second shade maybe will be too dark. But if this is too light, we are definitely going to use this to set the under eyes. So I'm going to go in with the brush. This is BH Cosmetics number two brush. This looks very nice. And let's set. This is lightweight. Ooh, I like that. I know how this is going to go all on top the whole face, but... Ooh, my face looks very nice and very smooth. Mm, I like that. I like this powder like this powder and I like the shade too. If I get more tan, I can definitely use it to set my under eye. Yes, I love the packaging though. So, so far so good. For my eyebrows, I did use the, she didn't talk about this product, but I did use the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in shade Ash Brown. I am already talked about this product that she really likes it currently without. This is Soap Brows, the original Soap Brow from um, Beauty Bay. And this was actually the product on my wish list uh, that I had on Beauty Bay, but this was always out of stock. Of course, after watching that video, I had I was lucky that this was back in stock two days later, and I immediately got notified and ordered it. After 10 minutes, it was out of stock again. So I'm not really sure if it's in, to, in the stock right now when I film this, but this is how this looks. And I don't know how to use this. I have no idea. I got the brush and I have the powder, not powder, but brow product. And I'm just going to move it around. I know she had some something in it, drops or something to activate. I'm not going to use anything. Let's try it like this. Or well, maybe I should, let's see, there is a paper. Maybe I should read this before. But it stays. Is there anything on English? German English, here it is. Lightly spray your product with prep mist, rub the applicator over the product and gather a small amount, brush through brow, styling as requested, then allow to dry for one minute. Okay, so need to set, need to wet it with something, but I'm going to use L'Oreal setting spray. Just spray it a little bit, just a little bit. So just to wet the product. It works. I got some product on my brush. And let's see if we can use it. Guys, family, you know what? I'm going to tell you when I finish this. I just love it. I just love it. I have long hair. This is a savior. 
this is not sponsored this is just my real thoughts and i'm loving every single product i've tried so far but we're not finished we have more things to try for the blush uh, she talked about i'm really talked about her favorite blush i think it was one of the nars that actually unfortunately is out of stock here in sweden but i have it on my wish list when it arrives uh, but she also mentioned this Dior Backstage Rosy Glow in shade 04 uh, Coral. And I bought it. I went and bought it. Let's see. They had this shade and also the pink one. Now, there are mixed reviews here on Swedish Sephora, but this looks so nice in the store. And I'm considering buying the pink one too. Uh, I know some people like to have it like a to on top of other blushes and that's how i like to do i have so many blushes it's not like i need more but i just love mixing blushes and using uh, matte blushes but maybe shimmery blushes on top so this is backstage this is how the packaging looks and it looks very nice and promising to you look the shade um, i didn't even swatch it, it looks so perfect uh, camera doesn't show it uh, not as bright as it looks but it is though bright still look at this it's so so beautiful excited i'm going to use my new favorite blush that i actually brush that i actually tried on my channel a couple of days ago this is 305 from near nairi nairi radiant blush i don't know if you can see this can't read this maybe this brush is one of my favorite right now i like it let's go picks up it picks up look at that look at that oh my god it looks so nice i was scared of this shade if i have to be honest i don't own anything like this but after seeing that on i'm crazy and i just fell in love with the shade and how it looks on her and i immediately thought i need to buy that but i like blushy looks i like applying a lot of blush and this is how it looks on my skin i love it it doesn't exaggerate my pores because i do have huge pores sorry guys for making so much noise but i need to buy the pink one too this one looks so good and it's definitely a very nice summer shade okay i have two more products and that's lipstick products but before we do that i'm going to go with highlighter amazing highlighter and use my so so and kayla brush highlighter brush i love this um highlighter that's nothing new this shade suits everybody everybody should have this in their collection no discussion about that it's perfect uh, perfect highlighter i just love it look how stunning this is i always get i always get compliment compliments when i'm using this highlighter and i always tell people i'm crazy go buy it i just love that blush i need more now my mascara dried i want to try and go in with one more coat just to see if we can build it up I just love how this mascara makes my eyelashes look very nice and thick. Uh, so I do love it. I like it so far. I hope it stays like this the whole day and doesn't smudge or flake. Okay. The last two products we have is a lipstick and a lip gloss that she mentioned in her video. So she talked about Charlotte Timberley Kissing Fallen from the Lipstick Tree. Uh, shade... Oh, what shade was it? Yes, Nude Kate. Now, I always wanted to try the Pillow Talk, but Pillow Talk is on my wish list, and uh, we'll see if I get it on my birthday or if I'm going to go and purchase it myself. But this is Nude Kate, and uh, she didn't talk about any lip liner, so I'm not going to use lip liner, but look at this shade. It looks so nice. I don't have anything on my lips dry tappy lips that's the only thing i have but let's go in with this i love my makeup how it looks on my face i 
very creamy lipstick. My lips are a little bit darker, so I do definitely need a lip liner with this. So let's see if we can have a lip liner. And I'm going to use Max Lip Liner in shade Strip Down. Was very nice with this lipstick. I like this shade. Very nice and very beautiful shade. Goes very nice with the crease shade up here. I like this. I like this shade. It's a little bit different. Nothing that I'm used to, but I do like it. It's something that I needed in my collection. It looks. It looks nice. And the last product she talked about in her on her channel that I was very curious and wanted to try is the Pure Out of the Blue uh, Lip Gloss in shade Goals. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy the, the Kylie's lip gloss that she talked about in that video. It's because the shipping is too expensive to ship to Sweden. But this is nice that it has a nice cute mirror. I like that. And this is the shade, so let's put this on top. I did swatch it on my hand when it arrived. It looks stunning. And I washed my hand after it, and it was still on my hand. So this looks like a very nice lip gloss. Ah, oh, it goes perfect with this lipstick. Smells good too. I can't stop. Okay, guys, that was everything. What do you think? What do you think about this product? Did you try any of these products? Please let me know, guys, down below. I was very excited and nervous doing this video, and I was nervous that if these products will be nice, if I would like them, but I love every single product that she mentioned that I have in front of me. I love the bron uh, the cream bronzer, I love her palette, I love her highlighter, the setting powder, the eyebrow product, the mascara, lipstick, blah, everything looks phenomenal, everything looks beautiful, and I feel like my, my face looks flawless. When I look at myself in the mirror, I love what I see, and that's the most important thing. Guys, I really, I'm very happy now. I'm very happy now. This made my day. This video, filming this video and trying this product just made my day. Um, thank you guys so much if uh, so much for watching this video. I will leave the link down below to uh, to Amrezi's video. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. She looks amazing in that video and also she is uh, she's just stunning. So go check her out. So this is the final look. I love everything. I need to check out more of the Pure Sleep Glosses. Uh, oh, there is a light here. I forgot that. Yeah, cool. I forgot about that. This is so you can see what you're doing. I uh, love this lip gloss. Need to try more shades. Perfect. Perfect. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you already haven't. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.